Johnny, uh, another huge game for us on Saturday. Carlisle awaits. Um, are you looking forward to the game and, and, and what sort of uh, challenge are you expecting? Yeah, I think it'll be a real challenge. Um, they've shown this season that they probably deserve to be where they are. Uh, they're second in the table. Um, so they've been doing really well. Um, you know, we've come off the back of three unbeaten, two, two really good wins and a, and a really good point against Orient. I thought um, Orient were probably the best team we've played. I thought they were a very good side, very well set up and had some really good players and a very good squad. So um, to come away from with a point there, with you know, a squad that was a bit uh, depleted, um, a lot of lads coming into the side, I thought, I thought we stood up to the challenge really well and got a well-deserved point in the end and um, yeah, Carlisle is going to be similar, they're going to be a good side so we have to respect them but we believe in ourselves to get the three points especially at home. And these are sort of games uh, as a player you, you really want to play and you want to play against the sides that are top, that are second, that are third and, and really test yourselves. Yeah, I think um, as a side we've, since I've been here we've always done quite well against the top teams, um, the ones where people don't really expect us to, they kind of write us off in a way. Um, and don't expect us to win. We, we usually do quite well, so we have to maintain that and, and keep delivering that until the end of the seasons because we're playing a lot of teams that are up and above us, so there's opportunities for us to gain points back on them and, and gain some ground back, back into the playoffs. So, um, yeah, there's this in our hands in a way because we've got all them teams to play. And obviously with a, a relatively young squad here as one of the more experienced members, do you sort of speak to the younger lads and say, look, this is a huge game for us and, and maybe we can approach the game in this way. Do you, do you sort of speak to the lads and G them up in any way? Yeah, I, I try and be myself quite calm and treat every game the same, really. I don't, you don't want the younger ones to get nervous or feel more pressure in the, um, in the bigger games. But, you know, it's three points at the end of the day and we have to win as many as games as we can until the end of the season and see where we finish. But... I think the young lads need to play with no fear. Um, when I was young, that's where I got the best out of myself, when I was feeling free and confident and able to go and express myself, which the manager instills here in the players. So um, they've got a great platform to go and do that, um, especially with the older lads like myself and Chaz, Fraser, Sads. We, we give the younger boys belief, full belief in themselves to go out there, try things, make mistakes, but it's all about the next thing they do. Um, we're, all, we're all human, we're all going to make mistakes, but if they can go and play without fear and express themselves, it will only help us as a team. And as a young side, um, obviously our season running, it comes up against a fair few sides that are above us in the table. Um, is there an added pressure, do you think, within the squad? Because obviously promotion and the playoffs is still high on the agenda. Um, yeah, you could say there's, there's always a pressure, I think. Um, a team like Swindon shouldn't probably be in League Two, so... I think there's always a pressure to uh, play for Swindon in, in this division to get results and give the fans stuff to cheer about. So I think there's always a pressure to do that. But um, yeah, I think it's, we're in a, we've still got a great opportunity to go and achieve something. We have to, I think we all do still believe that. Um, you know, we're not far off it. We're still in a good position with a game in hand on, on two games on some people. Um, so they're gonna, we know they're going to come thick and fast in the upcoming future, you know, the, the season will be over in a flash. So we need to do everything right on and off the pitch, uh, gain as many points as we can and make sure we prepare off the pitch for the quick turnaround because there's loads of games coming up, uh, especially in April. So um, if we can keep as many players fit as we can and give our all, um, that's all we can ask for, I guess. And we've had a fair few injuries, uh, obviously, that have been well documented over the last few weeks, but still managed to go on this, this, this impressive uh, unbeaten run in the last three. Um, with regards to, to, to Saturday, the, the side seems to be playing without any fear at the moment. And I guess that's quite a key component when you're playing sides up at the top. Yeah, I think it's massive. Um, you know, whenever there's an injury, there's an opportunity for someone else to s step in and take that. Um, you know, I feel really sorry for Reese. Um, you know, I've, I've been young once and struggled with injuries. So I know what it's like and it is tough, um, especially you work so hard to get fit and you know, I thought it was our best player up until he got injured on Saturday. Um, but I guess it's part of football, injuries is part of it, and we have to stick by him, get around him and, and you know, help him with his recovery to get back because I think he can be a real top player when he's fit. He showed that in a glimpse on Saturday after being out for three months. So um, it just shows you we have got a strong squad, we've got a lot of players, um, and hopefully... You know, one person's downfall is some person, one person's opportunity, and that's how football works. It's, it's, it can be a cruel sport, but um, yeah, we we'll have to 
we have to go into Saturday with full confidence, no fear, and go and attack the teams and get uh, the county ground you know, behind us because we're going to need them um, in these last few games. And they've been really good the last few weeks and we've been able to get some good results at home. Um, so hopefully we can build on that and win as many games at home as we can. There's not a game I don't look at at home especially and go, we can't win that. So we need to believe that and yeah, give our all and see where it takes us. All the best of the weekend. Cheers, David. Thank you.